Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a random um, random numbers kind of project in LabVIEW 2013. Go ahead and start LabVIEW. Create a blank, new blank VI. Click finish. Click Control T. Right click. Click numeric. Click meter. You can resize it if you want. Change the text to random numbers. And then I want you to add a numeric numeric container and a numeric indicator. Right click this. Visible items. Take the label off. Extend this a little bit. And change the text of this to time millisecond. Time delay in milliseconds milliseconds. Right. Now that's all set. Go ahead and over on this side add a actually wait a second. Change the colors if you want to. I actually prefer to do this a lot. And then just change this to black and same thing for this. Okay. And then all you have to do on this side is add a couple things. First you want to go to numeric and add a random number. Which is gonna be basically why we call it random number. So go ahead and random number and then add a time delay in milliseconds to so go to timing and then go to timing wait millisecond. Alright. Just organize it like this. And then just connect everything together. Now we're going to run the program and see what it does. As you can see, it, do, it does some random stuff. And as you can see, there's a you can change the range easily. So like if you change this, um, all right. So change the properties of this from instead of zero to ten, change it the scale to zero to one. Click OK. And then try running the program now, see what it does. Jumps all over the place. Now, if you adjust the time delay in seconds to 10, it will. S it's supposed to slow down. Let's change it to 100. Yeah. All right. So obviously 10 didn't really affect it. Let's try 1,000. See how slow it goes. And we'll go back to zero. And about to solve the place again. That's basically all this is doing is re calculating the time delay multiplying it by the and then basically viewing that with the random numbers and that's about it thank you for watching this tutorial have a nice day bye